Hi there, welcome to another C++ video tutorial. I'm Josef Botnar. In this C++ video tutorial, I mean to make an application in C++ which will compare two arrays. I have already declared these two arrays named A and B. Which of them has five elements and both of them was assigned by five values, as you can see on the screen, namely 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There are a few methods to compare two arrays, so let's do so. I will start with one method, and let's see if this method is going to work properly to compare two arrays. I want to mention these two arrays are one-dimensional arrays. So let's go ahead. Let's uh, compile uh, this uh, example, not the uh, errors, as you can see. Let's uh, release it uh, in console. Here you go, this is the result uh, of this uh, application. The arrays A and B are not uh, equal, which is not uh, true, because it's quite uh, obviously these uh, two arrays A and B are equal, because uh, they uh, have uh, the same uh, number of elements and the same uh, values uh, assigned namely 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means this uh, method uh, to compare these uh, two arrays A and B doesn't work properly. Why uh, this uh, method to compare the two arrays uh, doesn't work uh, properly? This is uh, because um, if uh, you are going to compare uh, the two arrays um, like um, I have done uh, here on this uh, line, it will not work it doesn't uh, work um, because uh, the compiler is going to compare the beginning addresses of uh, these uh, two arrays and uh, not the contents of uh, these uh, two arrays. This is the reason because uh, this method to compare uh, two arrays um, doesn't uh, work uh, properly. So uh, let's try another uh, method to compare the two arrays and uh, let's see if uh, the others uh, method works uh, properly. If you remember uh, the previous uh, my uh, C++ video tutorial, I mentioned uh, the loop is a very good uh, method to access the elements uh, of an array. Either you gonna to use for or uh, while loop, they are very good uh, method to access uh, the elements uh, of an array. So uh, I'm going to use a uh, for loop to access the elements of uh, these uh, two arrays A and B and I'm going to type a few codes and let's see if this new algorithm is going to compare properly these two arrays A and B. So let's do so. Let's first declare two variables, two integer variables named i and compare. And this last variable compare, I want to assign it by 1. And now let's start to write this for a loop. I get to the end of this method, of this new method to compare these two arrays A and B. Let's compile lit, as you can see, no errors. And let's release it in console, the result of this application. Here you go. Here is the result of this new method, which is this message, the arrays A and B are 
equal which uh, is true it seems uh, this uh, new method uh, works uh, properly this uh, new method uh, compared these uh, two arrays a and b properly uh, let's uh, do a few changes uh, inside uh, these uh, two arrays a and b and let's see if uh, this uh, new method uh, to compare uh, these uh, two arrays a and b will work correct further so let's uh, change uh, this value one uh, with uh, eight let's release it in uh, console again uh, this application here you go as you can see the result uh, of this uh, application uh, was uh, changed uh, now uh, we received uh, this uh, message the arrays a and b are not uh, equal which is uh, true because uh, i changed uh, the value located um, on the first uh, position uh, of uh, this array a from uh, 1 uh, to 8 uh, so let's uh, put back uh, one and uh, let's uh, change this five uh, to eight and uh, let's uh, release uh, this application again in console and uh, let's see if uh, it's gonna to work uh, properly again here we go this is the new result of this application the arrays a and b are not uh, equal which uh, is uh, true this uh, two arrays are not uh, equal because uh, I changed uh, the value uh, located um, on the last position um, inside uh, this um, array B from uh, 5 to 8. Therefore uh, this uh, new method works uh, properly and uh, let's see how uh, this uh, works. Actually this uh, loop uh, 4 goes uh, through these uh, two arrays uh, A and B and uh, if uh, this uh, conditional structure if will uh, find um, two different elements or uh, two elements uh, which uh, are not equal as you can see i used uh, this um, test uh, here that's why i used uh, this um, not uh, equal to compare our operator inside uh, this uh, if uh, conditional structure uh, which um, will make uh, this uh, application to search for each uh, different uh, element for each element uh, which are not uh, equal and uh, if uh, the compiler is going to find one uh, at least one element uh, which uh, is not uh, equal this uh, variable compare will be assigned uh, by zero and the compiler is going to display uh, this uh, message uh, the arrays a and b are not uh, equal if uh, there the compiler um, doesn't find uh, any elements which uh, are not equal arrays a and b are gonna to be equal the compiler is gonna to to hold uh, this uh, value one which uh, this uh, compiler uh, integer variable was uh, assigned uh, on this uh, line and the compiler is gonna to display in console this uh, message uh, the arrays a and b are equal so this is the sort uh, of working for uh, this uh, new method which is uh, working uh, properly let's see if uh, there uh, we can find uh, another method to compare the two arrays every time is very good uh, for you to engage uh, yourself to change a code to change uh, an algorithm in this uh, way uh, you will uh, improve uh, your uh, programming skill okay let's do so let's see if there uh, we can find another uh, method uh, to compare uh, two arrays actually this uh, variable uh, compare which um, was uh, declared as an integer uh, variable uh, works like um, a boolean uh, variable uh, because uh, the compiler associate this uh, number one uh, with uh, true and uh, this uh, zero with uh, false so uh, what if uh, we change uh, the type uh, for this uh, compare variable from integer to uh, boolean so let's uh, do so and uh, let's uh, change uh, the value uh, from uh, 1 to true with a boolean value and here false now let's uh, change this again and uh, here this compare operator will be changed uh, with equal and i'm gonna to use this um, curly brackets let's copy this and put uh, this inside the uh, for loop uh, curly brackets and i'm gonna to use this uh, else as well and 
this variable compare which uh, will be assigned by this uh, value false uh, if uh, this uh, test inside uh, this if conditional structure uh, will not be fulfilled will not be respected let's do the last uh, checking of this uh, new method to compare the two arrays okay i think uh, everything is all right uh, let's uh, compile this application again no errors let's uh, release it in console here you go this is the result of uh, this uh, new application new method to compare uh, two arrays uh, the arrays a and b are not uh, equal which is true because uh, in this uh, moment uh, these two arrays a and b are not equal here on uh, this uh, position this element um, is uh, different so let's um, make another changes uh, let's uh, change uh, this uh, element uh, from uh, 8 to 5 uh, let's uh, release uh, this application again in a console here we go This is the new result of this application. The arrays A and B are equal, which is uh, correct, as you can see on the screen, because uh, in this moment, these uh, two arrays A and B are equal, because uh, each uh, their elements uh, are uh, equal. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, those uh, are values uh, assigned uh, to uh, these uh, two arrays A and B. Uh, let's uh, do another change uh, let's uh, change uh, this uh, element uh, from three to for example five let's uh, release this application again in console here is the result the arrays a and b are not equal which is uh, true it seems uh, this uh, new method uh, works uh, properly to compare the two arrays so um, here you go another method uh, to compare the two arrays as I told you, it's uh, very good uh, to engage uh, yourself to change uh, code. Uh, in this uh, way, you will improve uh, your uh, programming uh, skill. Uh, how this uh, new method uh, works, this uh, loop for uh, will go through these uh, two arrays A and uh, B. As long as uh, this uh, condition uh, is uh, respected, uh, actually, will be less than 5 and this uh, compare um, boolean variable will be true as long uh, this uh, condition uh, will be respected um, the compiler uh, will um, execute uh, these uh, lines and I use this if conditional uh, structure to compare uh, each uh, element of these uh, two arrays A and B and uh, where the compiler will find equal elements will uh, keep assigned uh, this uh, variable uh, with the uh, true uh, value and the uh, compiler is going to display in console this message uh, the arrays a and b are equal if uh, there the compiler is going to find uh, two different elements two elements which uh, are not uh, equal the compiler is going to assign uh, this uh, variable compare by false and is going to display in console this uh, message uh, the arrays a and b are not uh, equal so this is uh, the kind uh, of working this uh, new method to compare the two arrays a and b uh, that's all uh, for today thank you for watching this uh, video tutorial see you next time bye